When she plays basketball, she exudes strength and physicality. But off the court, the power of one word can easily defeat Kendall Cooper. It meant so much to me because my brother, growing up, he was called it a lot. Um, so I take offense to it. When somebody in your family is bullied for a speech impediment that they have, it takes to heart, you know. For her teammate Odara Cheatham, trash talk her all you want, but don't call her an Oreo. Ever since I've been growing up, I've been hearing it. I mean, it, I just want to bring it to light and let people know that it's pretty offensive. Both players revealed said feelings in the powerful You Don't Say campaign at Duke University. Our athletics culture is really, is really just inherent to the way we do things around here. So we felt that by featuring student athletes in the campaign, we could help the message carry even further. Some of them were just, you know, feelings that people had, like, I just really don't like this word. I don't, I don't like what it means. Other athletes chose to do ones that were a little more personal. Social media helped spread the campaign's message to national outlets like BuzzFeed, but it's the impact at home that's made the difference. We call, we call ourselves a family, like Duke Athletics is a family, and this sort of really made it feel like that and like showed how everyone just kind of came together. It's also opened up a new discussion about how we as society view athletes off the field. They think like, oh, we're just here because like we can run a mean 400 or throw a football but when really like athletes are just as engaged as other students and are care just as much about these issues as other students. While most of the feedback has been positive some criticism for the campaign falls on the issue of free speech. We're not trying to outlaw words but it doesn't make you exempt from those social consequences that that you'll suffer from from using language that others don't like. Moving forward, campaign members hope to have these powerful images shown at Duke athletic events in order to continue a path towards inclusiveness. People see those posters and they and they see they know the people that are in them and they can go talk to them about it. I and mean, I think it helps to create a really healthy dialogue on this campus. In Durham and Gazia Kelado, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.